Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Jeremiah Cook for his thesis reading. Um, I had a lot of fun working with Jeremiah uh, when he brought his idea to me. Uh, that was my first kind of thought, is that it was a fun idea. And uh, it continued to be fun throughout the, the process. Uh, I think that a lot of times we focus on aspects of writing that aren't so fun, aren't so savory. And one of the things with JD is that Whenever I threw at him, he took it. He just kind of let it wash right over him and incorporated it. And the whole process, it was fun. And I think that's something that um, it might seem silly or, or trite, and I don't mean it to be. I mean it to be a very high compliment that um, the entire you know, back and forth was, was great for me. Um, I feel lucky to have been able to interact with him outside of uh, Seton Hill. Um, October. 2017, we were leaving Philly, and we stopped to see him um, for for a couple hours. And, and my wife and I got caught in a horrible snowstorm on 68 in West Virginia. And I said, you know, he owes me. <laughs> so uh, fast forward to October 2018, Jeremiah's reading his first place story, Millionaire Valley Writers, and there is a guy there with a cast of a baby Bigfoot footprint. And I thought. Well played. So, um, maybe you don't know this about Jeremiah. Uh, maybe I'm, you know, doing a little bit too. He's getting married this year, and if it weren't for a speaking engagement that I have, I would be there. So, what I want to do for him tonight is read a toast, as if we were there. So, if you lie, may you lie only to keep a friend. If you cheat, may you cheat only death. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. If you drink, may you drink deeply of the joy of your new life together. And without further ado, I'll pass it off to Jeremiah. That was pretty cool. Uh, to, to start off, I'm going to start passing some candy around. There's a cross and kind of like a ride for everyone. Um, so, you know, I guess, I guess so just pass that around. I'm also going to pass around this drawing I did of my world. Uh, it was kind of what started everything for me because I drew this and then the story kind of fall out of that. Uh, so just for fun things, I'm passing those around. Um, so before we begin, I'd like to thank both my mentors, uh, Jason Jack Miller and Paul Goan Allen, uh, for all the help and support they've given me while in the program. As a token of my gratitude, I obviously have some gifts. And, uh, this is a tradition for Seton Hill for those that have been So, Jason, Paul, Jim, you guys got to Sorry. It's just the only thing, that's all it is, sorry. Full credit to my fiance, you can that. This is awesome. I did the design, but you can it. It was a lot, but this is the evidence. It's, uh, we're both big Rush fans. And I don't know, yeah, I don't know if you got that for you, but yes, you did. Uh, that is a comic book adaptation of one of their albums, signed by the Emperor, the drummer of the Rush. So, uh, those are kind of cool ones. Um, <coughs> so, I'd also like to thank my critique partner, starting with Clarissa, uh, who read the entirety of my novel and stayed my partner longer than anyone else. Uh, then I'd like to thank Lucas, Eric, Matt, David, Aaron, and Ashley for helping to contribute to this moment. All my partners gave me helpful feedback and made this thesis better. Additionally, I want to thank all the mentors and students who assisted me in becoming a better writer by guiding me through the modules and critiquing me in workshops throughout my time at Seton Hill. Next, I'd like to thank my family for giving me the tools to get to this place in my life, especially my father and stepmother who drove out to see this tonight. Finally, I have to thank my fiance for supporting me through every tough submission and low moment in the program. Uh, whew. I didn't think I'd get emotional there, but I hope that I did too. Um, a lot of work goes into these. So. so during my first semester, I accidentally sent her a copy of my thesis, and her excited reaction uh, really kept me dedicated to finishing. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where this is coming from. I'm usually not this emotional. Um, Sorry. Uh, she was also cool with holding off and getting married, uh, and so I finished the program. So, it's great. And she never complained once um, since our engagement, and I think that makes her a real life saint. So, uh, I don't know if I could get a round of applause for her. That'd be cool. <laughs> I 
I knew that would trip me up. And like, I, I was like, even when I was reading, I was like, this is gonna hurt, like in real life. Um, so, <laughs> getting back on track there. Uh, <laughs> we'll edit this part out of the video, or maybe not. Um, so as an introduction to my thesis, I'm gonna read a paper I wrote, placing my work in a better historical and literary context for everyone. Uh, then I'll jump into the opening chapters of my novel. 